Hey guys, it's Rosie. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you what I did to set up my 2021 bullet journal. And yes, I am a little late, but I am on a trip to Florida right now. So I didn't have any time to set it up before the trip. And we've been bouncing around from place to place until we finally found somewhere to settle down. So now I was able to set up my bullet journal. And it took me like seven hours straight, I think, to do this. So kind of kind of hurts my brain that I wasted so much time doing it but I think it'll be very beneficial for me um, especially like to look back and see it but also I just really like being organized like that so I'm going to go show you what I did with my bullet journal. This year I'm using the Archer and Olive A5 Gliding Swallow Dot Grid Notebook. I'm obsessed with this color and I'm going to try to integrate the swallow somewhere inside of the bullet journal eventually. I'm going to preface this by saying that I was not able to make some of the pages that I planned out like my vision board because I didn't have the proper materials with me on my trip. The first thing that I made was this 2021 calendar page. I love how the left page came out and I'm definitely going to try to use this simple drawing style later. A lot of the designs that I used in my journal are inspired by spreads found on Pinterest. I find it very helpful to have a dot grid spacing guide in each of my bullet journals to help me make spreads in the future. On the right side of the spread I created a log so that I can keep track of when shows and movies that I want to watch are released. The next spread that I created was to keep track of all of my monthly themes so that I can see them all at once at the end of the year. It's um, my first time making one of these spreads and I'm very excited to fill in the bubbles. I've also never made a book tracker but since I have several piles of books on my floor at home I thought it would be helpful to be motivated and read and fill in the spread. Um, on the right side I created a chart so that I can record the title and author of each book along with a star rating out of 5. Another spread that I've never made is a monthly favorite song tracker. I think this will also be very entertaining to look back on because of how much music I listen to, although it'll be very hard to pick just one song every month. I have also never picked a word of the year, but this year I wanted to be inspired to create more and elevate my content, so I picked create to be my word of the year. I put a quote page that I found on Pinterest, along with the definition of the word and space to make a mind map to brainstorm ways that I can be more creative. Then I moved on to make January's monthly spread and the spread of the first week of January. Because I'm spending the first part of the month in Florida, I thought it would be appropriate to make this month's theme seashells. It was very time intensive to draw and color in all of these seashells, but I love how it came out. I also made another quote page at the beginning of the journal and wrote my name on the lines. As I mentioned, there were a few spreads that I was not able to complete, but I will definitely finish them when I get home.
So that is what I did um, to set up my bullet journal. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it and seeing kind of, I did a lot of research with this one so it was kind of interesting for me to like, you know, reach out and go to Pinterest and just try to like differentiate my style from my last bullet journal. So um, it was definitely challenging for me to do some of these things but I think it turned out pretty well. Um, judging by how much time it took me, I think I did start to get a little bit lazy at the end but I think it did turn out pretty well. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Uh, make sure to check out all my social media at Rosie or Waltz, and my Etsy shop also at Rosie or Waltz, and my book at getoutdoorsbook.com and I will see you guys later. Bye!